Tung style Tai Chi Chuan is one of the five major traditional Chinese Tai Chi Chuan. It was created by the late Grandmaster Sun Lu Tang in the 20th century. It combines the characteristics of Tai Chi Chuan, Xing Yi Chuan, and Ba Gua. It has many special features. One of the special features is every time you advance your step, the following step will come up closer to the advancing foot. And when you retreat, the front foot comes back and close by to the supporting foot. For this reason, the Sun Style Tai Chi Chuan is also known as the Moving Step Tai Chi Chuan. The second characteristics of the Sun Style is that every time you turn your body, your palms open first and close. It gives you the chance to readjust your breathing. And for this reason, the Sun Style Tai Chi Chuan also referred as Open and Close Tai Chi Chuan. The traditional form of ta Sun Style Tai Chi Chuan has 97 postures. It takes about 10 minutes to go through the form each time. We have taken out the most representative movements from the traditional form and taken away the repetitive ones. It has 38 movements in this short form. I hope it serves as an, as an introduction to the long form and to this style. The traditional form of Sun Style Tai Chi Chuan has 97 postures. It takes about 10 minutes to perform. To promote this sophisticated yet practical system, my father, Li De Yin, has compiled a shorter form of Sun Style. He learned Sun Style Tai Chi Chuan from his grandfather, Li Yu Lin, who is a top student of Sun Lu Tang, the creator of Sun Style. The short form Sun Style Tai Chi Chuan has 38 postures. It retained all of its traditional contents and remained true to the style's characteristics. Today we're learning 38 postures Sun Style short form. I hope it gives you a helpful aid to your learning. Now please watch the full demonstration of the Sun Style short form.
As I mentioned before, the short form has 38 postures. For teaching purpose, we're breaking it down to four sections. The first section has 16 postures. Now please watch the full demonstration of the first section. Stand naturally straight, facing straight ahead. Your mind should be calm and your body should be relaxed. Hands and shoulders are hanging down naturally. Heels are together, but toes are turned up to 90 degrees. Movement 1. 起势. Turn to the right toe inward until the right foot is straight and turn body slightly to left. Suppose the opening direction is south. You are now facing south east. Movement two. Lan Jia Yi. Raise both palms upward slowly to shoulder level. Your palms are facing each other like holding an air balloon, shoulder width apart. Two. Bend your knees, withdraw your hands down to your waist. Left foot steps out into the same direction, which is south east. Three, both hands lift upwards to your chest level. Extend forward following the direction of left foot. Keeping your shoulder high, shift body weight forward. Right foot follows up to a back T stance. Four, turn to right and circle hands. Both hands draw a horizontal circle till the right hand is level with the shoulder. Left palm is facing outwards. Fingers gently touch the corner of right palm. Pivot on the ball of your right foot and then pivot on the heel of the left foot till the body is fully turned into the west direction. Five. Hands draw a horizontal circle backwards. Right hand finish in front of right shoulder left hand in front of right chest both palms are facing forward right foot steps forward but don't transfer body weight yet six push both hands forward and as the body weight shifts forward left foot follows up towards the right foot into back t stance I shall Turn to left into facing south direction. Both hands move to the front of chest with fingers pointing upwards and palms facing each other. Then hands move slowly apart until shoulder width. Movement four, he shou. Both hands move slowly towards each other till the width of the head, keeping the fingers pointing upwards. 
Please pay attention to the transition in these movements. Let's watch the close-up pictures. Pivot on the ball of the left foot, then pivot on the heel of the right foot to turn the body. After turning, body weight should be on the right leg and left heel is off the ground. One, two, okay. Movement five, Dan Bien, one. Left foot make a step to the side. Both palms turn outwards and slightly extended away from the body. Two, shift body weight onto the left leg into a side bow stance. Both hands move away and extend it sideways, keeping hands at shoulder height and palms are facing outwards. Movement six, Ti Shou Shang Shi. Withdraw the right foot next to the left. Form a side T stance. Raise the left hand to the front of the forehead. Palms facing outward. Right hand move downward to the above the right knee. Fingers pointing down. Palms facing right. Eyes look forward. Movement seven. Bai He Liang Chu. One. Right foot steps forward while the right hand moves upwards to the front of the forehead. Left hand move down to the chest level. Two, right hand move down till it's parallel to the left hand. Push palms forward while shift weight onto the right leg and left foot follows up next to right, forming side T stance. Movement eight, Kai Shou. Both hands come back to the front of chest slowly move apart to shoulder width. Movement 9, He Shou. Both hands move back closer, palms facing each other parallel at shoulder height. Movement 10, Lo Xi Ao Bu. 1. Turn to left and left foot step into the east direction. Turn palms from facing parallel to left palm above the right, then extend the right arm out. Two, transfer weight onto the left leg and the right foot resting behind, forming back T stance. Right hand push from behind the ears to front. Left hand circle down to the side of left hip. Palm is facing down. Movement 11. Shou Hui Pi Ba. One. Right foot steps back. Two, shift body weight onto the right leg and withdraw the left foot, forming front T stance. As you step back, pull the right hand back to the front of the chest while extending the left hand forward. Left palm is facing right side while the right palm is facing inside of left elbow. Your fingers are pointing forward. Movement 12. Ban Lan Chui. One. Left foot steps out while left hand brush back towards the stomach. Right palm is facing up, extend forward. Two. Right foot makes a step forward while turning the left palm up and extend forward, withdrawing the right palm. Three. Left foot step forward again while extending the left hand to parry. Right hand form a fist by your waist. Four, shift weight forward onto left leg while right fist punching forward, left hand into a fist underneath the right elbow. The right foot follows up, forming back T stance. Watch these hand movements. First, turn the right palm up and extend it forward passing underneath the left palm.
Secondly, turn the left palm up and push forward while the right palm is brushing downwards to the stomach. It's facing down. Then turn the left palm down and draw the right fist back to the waist. And lastly, the right fist punch forward and left hand form a fist, move under right elbow. Again. Turn the right palm up and extend it forward, passing underneath the left palm. Turn the left palm up and push forward while the right palm is brushing downwards to the stomach. It's facing down. The right fist punch forward and left hand form a fist. Move under right elbow. Movement 13. Ru Feng Si Bi. Right foot make a step back. Transfer weight backwards onto the right leg while well, both fists open to palms, pull back towards the chest level, withdraw the left foot to the front of right, resting the ball of foot on the ground. Movement 14, Bao Hu Gui Shan, left foot step forward, both hands push forward while shifting weight forward. As your hands push out, right foot follows up to a back T stance. Movement 15, Kai Shou, Turn body towards south direction by pivoting on both feet. Pull hands back in front of the chest. Move them apart to shoulder width. Movement 16. He shou. Both hands push back towards the center of the chest until head width, palm to palm, fingers pointing up. Now let's start the second section. This section has five movements. Please watch the full demonstration of the second section. 17. Dao Juan Gong. Dao Juan Gong. Dao Juan Gong. Dao Jun Gong Eighteen San Tong Bei Nineteen Yu Nu Chuan Su Yu Nu Chuan Su Twenty 
高探马。Twenty one. 右起脚。Movement seventeen. 倒卷弓 Turn to left and back. Right hand extend away from the body, while left hand facing inside the right elbow. Two step out, left foot fold right arm back, placing the right hand by your ear. Three transfer weight forward as the right palm push out. Right foot immediately follows behind the left. The direction for this posture is north, opposite to the opening stance. 倒卷弓 the second. One, turn to right and back, while the left hand extends away from the body. Two, steps out right foot, fold back the left arm, placing the hand by ear. Three, shift weight forward while push out left hand. Left foot immediately follows up, forming back T stance. Direction is now to south. The third one. One turn behind and extend palms away. Complete the turning by pivoting on the ball of left foot, then the heel of the right foot. Two. Step out the left foot and fold back the right arm. Remember to step out towards the right and side. Three, shift weight forward, push up the right palm towards north. Right foot follows up behind the left, forming back T stance, leaving about ten centimeter space. The fourth one, one, turn to right and back. Extend the left hand with palms facing up at shoulder height. Your eyes look at your left palm. Two. Right foot steps out diagonally ahead, and fold back the left arm. Three. Shift weight forward and push left palm out with finger levels to the eye. Right hand brush round to the right side of the waist. 倒卷弓 can be repeated four times or twice. Depending on the size of the room available, it is advisable. However, always try to finish the routine close to the starting point. Movement eighteen, San Tong Bay. One, turn to left to face east. Extend the right hand sideways. Two, raise the right hand above the head, then press downwards. Passing the forehead to the front of your left shin, body slightly lean forward, pointing the ball of left foot down. Three, left foot steps forward to form empty stance. Left hand pushes forward while the right hand push over the forehead. Four, turn around and form empty stance. Both hands change position. Now right hand pushes forward, and the left hand pushes over the forehead. Eyes look straight ahead. Movement nineteen. Yu Nu Chuan Su. One. Right foot slightly step across to left, with toe pointing out. Shift weight forward as both hands gather close in front of the body. Left palm is facing up at chest level. Right palm is facing down. Two. Left foot steps out diagonally forward. Left palm push up. Three. Shift weight forward while right palm pushing out. Right foot immediately follows up, forming back T stance. Direction for this posture is southwest. 玉女穿梭 Number two. One. Left foot steps forward and forward the body weight while both hands gather close in front again. 
Right palm is facing up, left palm is facing down. Two. Right foot steps out diagonally forward, right hand pushes up. Three, shift weight forward as left hand's pushing out, left foot follows behind the right. The pushing palm in this movement is closer to the body than the previous posture, San Tong Bei. Your elbow is closer to the ribs, the elbows bend. Let's take a look of this movement from the front. One, step across to the left, gather both hands, left hand is in front facing up. Two, step out diagonally forward, push up the left palm. Three, shift weight, back foot up and push forward. When pushing forward, don't extend arm excessively. Keep the elbow close to the body. The second one. One, left foot steps out, both hands gather in front. Let right palm is further away. Two, turn and step out diagonally, following southwest. Right palm pushes up. Three, shift weight forward, push the left palm out. Movement 20, Gao Tan Ma. One, left foot steps back, right hand extend out. Two, shift weight back into empty stance. Left palm is facing the inside of right elbow. This posture follows northwest direction. Movement 21, Yu Qi Jiao. One, Right foot steps inward cross, body slightly turned to left, while well, both hands gather to front, palm to palm, right palm on top. Two, rotate both palms so that they are side by side, still palm to palm. Adjust the left heel to be parallel with the right foot and look to right. Three, Hands push out and kick the right foot. Both hands move to left and right as if sliding along a pole. The right foot kick up to the northwest direction. Lift the knee up when finish the kick if you can. Okay, let's practice the kick again. Right heel kick. And again. Now let's move on to the third section. This section has four postures. Please watch the full demonstration of the third section. Twenty-two. Zuo qi jiao. Twenty-three. Yun shou. 
25金鸡独立 Third section step by step instructions 22左起脚 Right foot moves downwards with the toe turned in Shift your weight to the right leg Turn your body round to face the southeast. Both hands pulled back, left foot steps back next to the right foot. 2. Push hands out in different directions while kicking the left leg, keeping the knee straight. 23. Yun Shou. 1. Left hand draws the circle downward, then to the right, while the left foot makes a step out sidewards. The step is to the east but your eyes look to the west. Two, shift your weight onto the left foot. Both hands circle to left. The foot should be parallel to the front, 10 centimeters apart. The second, yun shou. Both hands circle to right. The left foot make a step to left. Two, right foot steps inward and both hands circle to left. Third, yun shou. Circle hands to right and step out to left. Remember to turn your waist when circling hands. Hands reach eye level when circling up and hip level when circling down. Two, turn the waist and circle hands to left. Right foot steps inward. 24, xia shi, one. Turn the body to right and circle hands to right too. Two. Turn to left and left foot steps out to the east. Your left hand circles upwards and then forwards with palm forward while right palm turns up. Push up the right palm. Close up the right foot. Direction should be east. Four. Step forward with the left foot. Both palms are held in front at first and then the left palm push forward and downward while the right palm pulls back to the side of hip. Your left leg takes about 60% share of the body weight. This is called San Ti stance. Your body leans slightly forward. Twenty-five. Jin Ji Du Li. Shift weight forward onto your left leg. Lift and raise the right knee to balance on one leg with your right toe pointing forward. Your right hand moves forward and upward, then bends back at the elbow. Jin Ji Du Li, number two. Your right foot steps forward to stand and balance on the right leg. Left elbow bends back from above the knee, leaving your left hand above your shoulder next to your ear. Your right hand is hanging by your side with fingers pointing down. Your eyes look straight ahead. Now let's move on to the fourth and final section. This section has 12 movements. Please watch the full demonstration of the fourth section. Twenty-six. 
27 Yema Fenzong 28 Jinbu Lan Jia Yi 29 Kai Shou 30 He Shou 31 Dan Bian 32 Shang Bu Qi Xing 33 Tui Bu Kwa Hu 34 Juan Jiao Bai Lian 35 Pi Shen Fu Hu Thirty Six Shuang Zhuang Chui Thirty Seven Yin Yang He Yi Thirty Eight Shou Shi Full section step by step instructions. 26. Juan Shen Zuo Deng Jiao. 1. The left foot is placed down behind the right. Turn to left and back. Both hands are held in front of the chest, palm to palm. We're now facing the west. 2. Push up both hands to left and right while slowly lifting up the left knee, then kick. 27. Ye Ma Fen Zong. Circle your left hand down, then to right, towards your right hand. Left foot is placed down, then steps diagonally forward, while left hand chops forward and downwards. The stance is bow stance, and you're now facing southwest. Second, Ye Ma Fen Zong. Lift the right foot and then step forward diagonally. Right hand chops forward and downwards. Your direction is changed to northwest. 28. Jin Bu Lan Jia Yi. 1. Left foot steps forward. Your toe is pointing outwards and your knees are bent. Circle both hands down. Cross palms in front of your waist. Left palm on the top, both palms facing down. 2. With both hands draw a big circle in front, then back to waist level. Shift your weight forward and lift your right foot up beside your left ankle. 3. Right foot steps forward, both hands raise in front of your chest. Your right palm is facing up. 4. Now shift your weight forward while both hands push out. The left foot steps up behind the right. We should be facing west. 5. Your left foot steps back. Your weight shifts back. Hands swinging to the side and then back towards your right shoulder. Both palms are facing forward in front of your right shoulder. 6. Shift weight forward while pushing with both hands. Your right hand is at shoulder height. The left hand is at chest level. Your left foot moves up behind the right. You are still facing the west. 29. Kai Shou. 1. Turn to left and draw your hands back to the front of your chest. 2. Spread your hands apart towards shoulder width. 30. He Shou. Move hands closer, head width. Shift weight to your right foot and lift the left heel. 31. Dan Bian 1. Left foot steps out to the side. Both palms turn outward. 2. Shift weight to the left leg. Push your hands away to the left and right. Look towards your right hand. 32. Shang Bu Qi Xing 1. Turn right toe inward and left toe out. The body starts to turn to the left. 2. 
Lift and place the right foot behind the left foot. Cross both hands at the wrists. The palms are facing to the side. You're now facing east. Let's look at the hand positions in close-up. Right palm over the left. Both palms are facing to left and right. Fingers are pointing diagonally upward. 33. Tui Bu Kwa Hu. 1. Right foot steps back. 2. Shift weight back while circling both hands down and outwards. Your right hand continues to circle upward, then press down. 3. Lift up the left knee and stand on the right leg. Put right forearm level to your chest, just above the knee, palms facing down. Let's look at it again. Thirty-four, Juan Shen Bai Lian. One, your left leg cross over to the right, steps down to the back. Make a full circle turn of the body. Your face east after the turn. Both hands move slightly to right. Two, swing kick the right foot and move both hands across the left and slap right foot toys. I will repeat this kick again. During the swing kick, the leg should be following a semicircle. The hands move the other way and slap the foot. Thirty-five. One gong shu hu. One. Your right foot steps out diagonally, turn to the right slightly. Both hands circle to waist level. Two. Shift weight forward and turn palms out. Then with both hands push diagonally to the left and downward. Please note that in this posture, the bow stance, your body is pointing to the southeast and both hands are pushing towards northeast. 36. Shuang Zhuang Chui. 1. Lift up the left foot and clench the both hands into fists while pulling them back to your waist. Fists facing down. 2. Left foot steps diagonally forward. Punch with both fists. Right foot follows up behind the left. If I turn around, you can see this posture clearly. Both fists are parallel to each other and punching out at chest level. Don't extend the arms too far away from the body. 37. Yin Yang He Yi. 1. Pivot on the feet and turn around to the right. Turn both fists upwards while moving them back to the front of your chest. Your right fist is aiming at the inside of left elbow. 3. As the right foot steps back, the right fist extends out under the left forearm. Both fists are crossed at wrists, palms facing up. 4. This is an empty stance. Shift your weight back while exchanging fist positions. The left fist circles under the right wrist to the outside, still crossed at wrists, but now palms facing sideways and left over right. Let's take a look at the hands in the close-up. 1. Right fist go under the left. 2. Left fist circle under and over the right. Push the cross out slightly. 38. Shou Shi. Step back. Place the left foot next to the right. Both hands open from fists 
and return to the sides. The whole body has now returned to a relaxed position. Now that we have gone through the routine step by step, let's watch the complete demonstration.
try to join in this time. That's the end of this program. I hope it has been a useful learning aid and that you enjoy many hours of Sun Sao Tai Chi Chuan. <laughs>